Good morning, folks. We're going to cover an interesting glitch that happened during the solar storm this week. Quick look at the monthly climate report covering August, study on ancient wildfires, and one on solar storms and human health. Let's start with the last 24 hours on our star, where things were very quiet. The sunspots are not flaring at all. Eruptive activity is low. We'll keep monitoring it all, of course, but it appears we'll have a bit of a calmer couple days. Of course, we just got out of an unexpectedly strong geomagnetic storm. As we discussed yesterday, the CME impact was forecast to reach level 3 disruption conditions. It was late and weaker than expected, but still managed to make a level 4 geomagnetic storm with very strong auroral displays. There were a handful of networks that had glitches when it hit Earth, but the most interesting was the glitch on SOHO, where the data began running backwards from a background star perspective and a brightness correction was required. This has since been resolved without issue. My contact says it was just a small glitch, but it did happen at the exact moment the solar shockwave hit. Let's now take a quick look at the climate report. As with every single month, the publicly propped up qualitative map looks very red meant to put the emphasis on fear of global warming. But here is what the quantitative map shows, much less red, much more blue. It's one of the ways reality is altered when they propagandize the public. Up next, a very interesting paper confirming what many of us thought they would find. Just beneath the wildfire evidence in marine sediment from the disaster 12,000 years ago, they found a lot more from the period covering the previous 12,000 year cycle. It's not at all surprising given the massive widespread wildfires expected during these disaster cycle events, like the one on deck again soon. Lastly, on the article front, we've got a great paper on solar storms and young women's health, specifically of the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous systems which become overly or under stimulated during solar storms with variability measures also found for whether it was a sunny or cloudy day. Every time they look at anything health wise, they're able to find that correlation with the sun. Folks, the Founders Weekend events begin at Observer Ranch on Friday. It's basically a mini conference with presentations, gatherings, Q and A. Grab your day passes at the link below or go to ObserverRanch.com to book your stay at the campground. Also have a link to the birthday event at the ranch on October 19th. I'm turning 40. We'll love to see you out there. ObserverRanch.com We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.